know, the world has flattened, um, so there are opportunities to do a lot of activities from a lot of different places. Not everything we do is client-facing, and even those who have client-facing activities fly around the country and fly around the world. And so, a little bit, we've been able to accommodate people's lifestyles. People want to live in different places. We've needed to diversify our activities just so, you know, just for risk management. Uh, another thing we have to do is we're a global business, and so our activities have to follow the sun. So when people are asleep in New York, it suits us to have people who are working on closing those activities, operating them, and fixing our technology uh, during the daytime while people in New York are sleeping at night. And so it just suited us to have a lot of different places around the world. So right now, these, pa these places collectively have about a quarter of our people, and you know, something that might get a little bit higher, 30% or more, but it's hard to tell. Where else besides Salt Lake City, Dallas, Bangalore, Singapore, are you developing these high value locations? Those are the places right now, but uh, again, we follow the sun and we also get taken where uh, growth and activity is, so there could be others. And how do you quantify the benefit? How much have they saved the firm? Well, again, it started out where we talked about what the savings were and the concept. Remember, there was a, you know, the theme was offshoring for a while where people were talking, and Salt Lake City is hardly offshore with respect to the United States, but people were talking about the savings advantage. This really morphed into um, part of, a, uh, you know, really, where, do, where can you get talent? Um, if you look at, so for example, you know, if you look at here, we're, we have almost every division of the firm represented here. We have people, we have lawyers who are here doing contracts. We have research people who are covering companies from Salt Lake City. We have several of our global businesses are operated globally from Salt Lake City. Same thing is true in India and Dallas. So as you point out, not all of Goldman's businesses are here in Salt Lake City. Could you ever see a trading floor in the Utah desert? Could I see a trading floor? I'd say it's possible, uh, but you'd have to, you know, again, a trading floor is something you don't want many trading floors in the same time zone just because with a trading floor comes legal and comes compliance and operations and technology. So you tend to aggregate your, t your, tr your trading businesses in a single place in a time zone. So it could be here, but guess what? We have a very big commitment to the New York area and we're already invested there and we already own the space.